Hello children and welcome to another Bible story. My name is Helen if we haven't met already and I'm the Youth and Children's Minister at St Michael's Church in Burwood. It's so lovely that you've joined us today. Before we get started I want to ask you a question. Do you know the song If You're Happy and You Know It? It goes a little bit like this. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So we're going to change the lyrics slightly. I wonder what it would be like if we had birds singing the songs. I reckon it might go a little bit like this. If you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. If you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change it one more time because it relates to a story I want to tell you. How do dogs show that they are happy? They wag their tails. So I wonder what it would sound like if a dog was singing it. If you're happy and you know it, swish your tails. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, swish your tail. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, swish your tail. And so the reason why I'm singing all these songs is because we're talking about happiness today. I heard a little st a story about a little puppy that noticed whenever he was happy, his tail wagged. So he thought he'd found the secret to happiness. And one day he shared the secret of happiness to an older dog. He said, ah, I have learned the best thing for a dog is happiness. And that happiness is in my tail. So I'm going to chase my tail. And when I catch it, I shall have happiness. The old dog replied, I too believe that happiness is a marvellous thing for a dog. And that happiness is in my tail. But I have noticed that when I chase it, my tail keeps running away from me. But when I go about my business, it follows me wherever I go. So Jesus wants us to experience happiness. And we know this from one of his Bible stories. So one day, Jesus went up to the side of a mountain. He sat down, he gathered his disciples around him, and he began to teach about happiness. And even though these aren't quite the exact words Jesus used, I think they'll help us understand what he was trying to teach. He said things like, be happy when you are poor, because then you will find your riches are in the kingdom of heaven. Be happy when you, you have lost what you care about the most because it is then you will feel the love of the one who cares about you the most. Be happy with what you have, because then you will find that your heavenly father provides everything that you need. Be happy when you are hungry for the things of God, because then you will find that only he can satisfy. Be happy when you're caring for others, because it is, it is in caring for others that you will find you have a heavenly father who cares for you. Be happy when your heart is right with God, because it is then you will see that God is at work in the world around you. So children, we can learn from our dog story at, about chasing happiness and also from Jesus. To be happy with the small things and we as and then we will be blessed with many more things to be happy about from our Father in heaven. So let's pray. If you'd like to pray along with me, fantastic. If you don't feel up for it, no worries at all. Just close your eyes and just listen to these words. Jesus, thank you that we have so many things to be happy for. We're sorry for when we haven't seen them. Help us to find them on the days that are really hard. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.